In case you haven't already heard, Brawlmaster Inscripted is getting rebooted. My old way of doing things was shitty and inefficient, and I wasn't getting things out as frequently as I wanted. So that's about to change. I tossed out all the old silly little rules. Forget everything I told you before, and listen up, because here's how I want to try and do this now. If you would like to ask me a question and get a chance to see it featured in a future video, here are the rules and guidelines I need everyone to follow and be familiar with. Rule number one. Only one question per person is allowed. In the past, I didn't have a limit, so people would post long lists of questions. Looking back, I felt that it was a little unfair that certain people would get substantially more screen time in the video than others just because they asked more questions. Well, no more. Everyone is only getting one shot, and we're going to try to balance out the screen time a little more evenly going forward. Rule number two. I will be featuring a maximum of 10 questions for each installment. I know some people enjoyed listening to me ramble for up to an hour at a time, but that always meant I had a ton of editing to do, and ultimately, it took that much more time for me to get these installments done. So I want to try imposing a little limit on myself so I can have a more consistent and manageable workload when it comes to putting these things together. Rule number three, try to ask a creative or funny question to increase your chances of getting featured. Yes, I will still be picking which questions I want to answer, so not everyone who asks one will show up in the video, especially not right away. To better your chances of getting featured, try to put some thought into your question. I haven't watched every movie, listened to every artist, read every book, or played every game known to man. Those kinds of questions are really hit or miss. Either I'm familiar with it and I have a ton of stuff to say on the matter, or I'm not and it becomes really awkward. If you really want to ask me for my thoughts on something specific, you still can, I won't stop you, but I just want you to know that it's kind of risky to do that, because if I'm not familiar with the subject matter, I'm less likely to choose your question since I won't think my answer is very interesting. Instead, try to ask something a little more creative, or even something funny. I love a good laugh. The more specific you want to get, the better. I know that sometimes it's hard to be creative, so if you really can't think of anything else to ask besides what I think of some movie, book, or game, Especially if it's something you like and you want to know if I like it too, go ahead and ask it. Who knows, I might love it and have a ton of stuff to say about it. But then again, I might not. All I'm trying to say is that it's risky, so I'd rather you try to be creative or funny instead, if possible. Rule number four. If you're going to ask me my favorite or least favorite something, put a creative twist on it. I don't mind talking about my likes and dislikes, but I don't think my answers are always the most interesting to listen to. So if you're going to ask a question like this, try to come up with something you think would be interesting for everyone else to listen to. Try to pick something that hasn't been done a hundred times before, if possible. Go into a little more detail with it somehow if you can. Just try to keep the audience in mind. Ask something you think I would provide an answer to that is entertaining for everyone to listen to. Ask something you genuinely want to know about me, and not just something basic so you can try and get your name featured on screen. Rule number five. Try to avoid time-sensitive questions. I know it's tempting to ask me for my thoughts on some recent news or announcement. Sometimes the topic doesn't age as quickly, and it's okay for me to talk about it months after the fact. But other times, it isn't, because by the time I get my word in, the question is outdated or irrelevant thanks to my... slowness. I'm trying to post more on my Facebook page about news or stuff I find interesting or have something to say about so my page isn't just a status generator for when the next video is coming out. But that's beside the point. I would prefer to answer questions in Unscripted that don't really have an expiration date. Try to ask a question that makes sense for me to answer even if it's months after you submitted it. I think that would be ideal. However, I'm going to put a little asterisk with this one because this rule is subject to change in the future if necessary. I want to see how much more consistent I can be with this new workload format. If it turns out I can get more parts out frequently than in the past, I may come back and get rid of this rule because at that point, I'll know that I can potentially talk about news before it becomes irrelevant. For the time being, I'm putting this rule in place, but I will come back and get rid of it if I think that's necessary, and of course, I will let you guys know if that change does happen. Rule number six, remember that this series is ongoing until I say otherwise. Don't panic if you don't see your question feature right away. It doesn't automatically mean I'm never going to feature it. I might very well be saving it for next time. In fact, that's a lot more possible now since I'm only going to be featuring 10 questions at a time. So please just be patient. Believe me, I want to feature as many people as I can, but
but I also want to be fair and balanced about it, and I want to address questions that I think my answers will be entertaining for everyone to listen to. And number seven, this is the most important one, submit your questions in the comment section of this video only. Nowhere else, no other videos, especially not on the new installments. In the past, I asked people to submit questions on my DeviantArt page and on my Facebook page, and no, screw that. I want all of the questions in one place because it just makes it easier and faster for me to go back and find them when I'm working on a new installment. If you post your question anywhere else besides the comment section of this video, I'm probably going to ignore it. You guys were really awesome about this in the past, so I thank you for that, and keep it up. As a side note, I will go back and delete comments containing questions I've answered after a new installment comes out, so please don't freak out if your comment suddenly disappears. It just helps me manage my inventory more easily. As long as you keep all these rules in mind when you're submitting a question, your chances of getting featured are pretty good. So show me what you've got, and let's have some fun with this.